a standard bulk type or stud type bushing is normally it's just 15 kV, 25 kV. It's when you get to 25 kV and above that you want to grade the voltage as it's funneled in and out of your transformer or, or through that wall. Yeah. So it's the condenser itself hasn't really changed much in design, but the materials now have changed. So before it was a plain paper and you could use a metal foil uh, as the gradient to grade you know, the capacitance and everything that, with the bushing, or you could use a printed ink design. So the ink printing type actually saved in manufacturing uh, because when you have a sheet of aluminum foil to grade the bushing, uh, a bushing at uh, you know, 138 kV could have 30 of those sheets in there. Right. And they could wrinkle up or they could have gaps or, so it, it was very manufacturing unfriendly. Uh, so the, the printing type was all done automatically and there was only maybe one or two sheets uh, even in a 500 kV bushing of metal foil to get the contact to the ground and to the test tap. So as it's changed, everybody wants to get away from oil, uh, this in environment. Uh, porcelain has almost gone away because of manufacturing. There's no porcelain manufacturing in the US. As you moved away from oil, because a lot of times it's leaks, uh, gaskets deteriorate just like they do on a transformer, but nobody thinks about it on a bushing because of age right. uh, and a permanent set over time. Everybody wants to get away from oil. And so they have went to like resin impregnated paper or resin impregnated synthetics. So when it was resin impregnated paper, uh, the lower end of the bushing is exposed and it's, it's a machine lower end. So you couldn't store the bushing uh, just out in the yard anymore. You had to store it in oil if it was a spare bushing or it would take on moisture. So then it evolved to resin impregnated synthetic and the okay. synthetic material will not take on that moisture and deteriorate the bushing. I believe with being able to do resin impregnated paper or synthetic bushings, the condenser, and then apply a uh, some type of silicone insulator in the upper end that you can make in two days and not wait 26 weeks uh, for a porcelain. Yeah. It, it helps in the lead time of manufacturing. 